Steel Racers is an 80s to 90s style retro racing game. It was developed and published by Light Up Studio. The game, as I said, is a retro racing game. Pixelated in the best way possible with a very clever side-scrolling lobby where you can find all the upgrades, paint jobs, and each season of races. This isn't a huge game, but there is a few things to talk about, so put it in park for a few and get ready for this review. First things first, I'd like to talk about the seasons. The difficulty, more specifically. For the first few races, I thought the competition was staying the same pace, as in not increasing in challenge, and they didn't seem to do so until I made it to season 2. It's not too concerning since the challenge is pretty nicely balanced throughout the game, but within each season expect the same pace of race. A lot of times on normal I would make it to first within the first lap and spend the rest of the race getting bored. The hard difficulty on the other hand made up for that. On hard the races are a whole lot more challenging and each win feels worth it. A lot of the times I would make it to first just before a race ended and it would really get the adrenaline pumping, even just being a retro racing game. Moving on, the upgrades are strange in my opinion. One of them, more specifically. The game has a few for your ride, and most of them seem to do as they say. One specifically seems to do nothing, though. The tire grip upgrade costs $750, just like all the other upgrades that aren't a nitrous inventory upgrade. Anyway, I bought it after finishing Season 3, expecting to have better grip around turns with the new top speed upgrade from the season before. It didn't seem to do anything, though. I know, it's really minor, but I have to point it out. When I bought it, I was expecting not to slide off the track as much, but I still did if I kept the throttle all the way down, just like before I bought it. Other than that issue with them, I feel they are really well priced, and placed in a good order from start to finish. The reason I like the prices is because if you want them all, you have to do more than the required races for each season pass. Speaking of the passes, each season has a lock, requiring a keycard, which requires a certain amount of trophies in order to gain access to the race to unlock it you get one trophy per completed race, and a possible $100 on each race. The money goes towards those upgrades I mentioned, and the trophies go towards that lock on the season finale races. Anyway, outside of the upgrades, there are paint jobs you can buy for the car as well. A few different colors. I'll show them on the screen rather than listing them off. The environments from each season are very well designed when it comes to that retro feel. The car seems like it's sitting still with the world moving under it, just like in the old games. The trees and rain all mimic the active motion rather than the car. With the rain changing directions and turns and the trees popping up as you go further, it gives you that perfect illusion of motion from the car. Its animations look pretty good for the most part too. I do think the turning camera angle could be worked on a bit though. When you go around a turn, one side of the track gets cut off and the screen gets taken over by a lot more of the environment. It just makes seeing things like the Nas or money harder. It's not a major problem, I just wanted to point it out. The races themselves feel great when it comes to that retro aspect, but I would love it if the look got tweaked a bit. The lines in the road gave me a headache after about 45 minutes of playing. I'm not saying it stopped me from enjoying the game, it just messed with my eyes and I had to play it in segments due to that. If it weren't for that, I think I could have played the entire game in one sitting. It only took me about 3 hours to beat it total, and I really liked the nod to anyone that finished the game from the developers. It's just an area with thank you made into the environment, but it shows the devs really care about anyone willing to play the entire game. You get a bit of extra cash here, and a new nitrous upgrade as well. Steel Racers is currently out and is $5 on Steam. In my opinion, it's worth the price, and I recommend picking it up if you're looking for that retro racing feel. Even if you're not, it's a good game all around, and a great game to burn a couple hours with. If you have any game you'd like to see me review, drop it in the comments, or just leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, and for more news, reviews, or whatever we choose, stay tuned to Nerdsfeed. Have a wonderful day.